<sighs> I've been waiting for this review. The Jester is the Supra, and in the end, that's fine. I hope you had the drive of your life. The Jester is the Supra, and in the end, that's fine. I hope you had the drive of your life. Dinka are famous for their hyperbikes and other suicide machines, but their legacy only has one name on it, the Jester Classic. They may have set out to make a sports GT, but they accidentally made one of the most iconic street racers ever to do the quarter mile with plenty of change out of 10 seconds flat. It's still as beautiful as it ever was. It will still eat you alive if you so much as flinch while you're behind the wheel. And you would still wouldn't change a damn thing. So, is this car good? Well, we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. So, I actually originally did a review about this a couple weeks ago with one of my friends. I had originally thought this car sucked because for some reason, in every drag race I had done with that car, it lost. And that was because my friend's connection was crap. So now that I've gone back by my own jester, I now know which is, um, I now know I was wrong. The Jester Classic technically started out as the original Jester from GT San Andreas, more resembling the 1990s MK4 Toyota Supra. A god amongst cars, a testament to the 90s. The Jester Classic has basically taken those design cues and brought them back into the HZ universe. Speaking of the old Jester, strangely enough, the old Jester was front wheel drive in San Andreas. I'm not really sure why, but that's just what it was. Now there was quite a bit of controversy before the Jester Classic was released. People who used PC mods to access the car before it was released because we all know drip feeding is basically become standard fare in GT Online and we all knew for a fact a car of this magnitude was going to be released as the last drip feed. So anyway, before it was released, a bunch of people noticed a lot of visual glitches and bugs. It was almost like Rockstar just kind of rushed this one in. Instead of being released during the San Andreas Supersport DLC, it got cancelled and re-released during the After Hours update. Under the hood, we have a seemingly standard looking inline 4 cylinder, borrowing the same model from the Sultan RS. A bit disappointing I suppose, but you can't ask for everything. The only difference is that this one has the Dinka badge on the valve covers. I think what really disappointed me was there was no sign of twin turbos, which is what the real life Super is known for, along with its remarkable and legendary 2JZ engine. So, you're probably wondering, is this car faster than the LG Retro? Yes, but it accelerates a lot slower than the Retro. Um, now, of course, also the reason why this car is so slow in this video here is because the guy took the hood off. And everyone knows if you take any parts off of a car, it actually makes the car slower because of the damage modeling. Now, another reason why the, Jest the LG Retro is so much faster than the Jester Classic uh, is because it's four-wheel drive. And also, the Jester is so much slower because of all the new handling flags implemented into the code into the newer DLC cars. So, I think it's supposed to be part of the DLC. I'm not really sure. So, yeah. So, what does 790K get you? It gets you a decently fast sports car. Although, it doesn't feel like the Supra, and as I said before, the LG Metro pretty much mops the floor with it at the beginning of a drag race. I'm pretty sure if I pitted the LG Metro in a normal race with the Gesture Classic, I'm pretty sure it'd be a pretty, pretty good match. Um, bottom line is, if you're looking for a nostalgia trip and you're looking for a decent car, yeah, you could pay almost a million dollars for this car however I feel like there's probably better cars out there but this car 
I only bought it for the looks, okay? I'm not really a big racer, even though I love racing games. But this car, this car, all right. Anyway, this has been RCR San Andreas, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.